Kia ora and welcome back. Uh, now we're going to just sort of build on the single box and sort of quickly create another one uh, that we can then use to create some Boolean differences. So let's just, I'll just pull this across while we quickly do this. So we've got this one uh, um, box here and what can be quite a good idea is to uh, group that so we can right click, well, drag over all of that, select it, right click and there's a group icon um, that allows us to keep it all in one thing and uh, there we've got uh, we can even change the color of that. So if we go, um, let's just move this Ooh, there. Uh, looks good. Uh, uh, and it's also a good idea to, to um, keep track of, of the different parts. So we can come back to params. I can't remember. I think it's in here. Um, it's a little sort of scribble thing, you know, let me just, is it scribble? Uh, it looks like it. Uh, yeah, so scribble. Um, so we can then double click on that and type, we'll just call it box one. Uh, so we know, oh, don't need to do that. What's going on? Okay box one so we've got that all in there um, we can also that's not part of the group so we could ungroup this so ungroup and then select that including the uh, name that we've given it and then group so we've now got all of that in one group so what we can do is then uh, copy and paste uh, is that doing it? No, that's not working. So we can select all of that, sorry, and then go uh, begin to drag and hold down option. And that brings most of the stuff. You can see that didn't bring that one across. So we can just sort of uh, click, hold down option or control on a um, Windows computer and then we can drag that across. So now we've got two boxes. So if we just come back here, um, you can't really tell because they're actually in the same place. So if we just move that one, we can start to see now that they're in, in a different place so that they're not overlapping. And we can make one bigger maybe. So yeah, this one make this taller. And let's make that quite a lot bigger. So now we're starting to get two boxes. Uh, so if we just switch this back to uh, shaded, this will run faster. Uh, and you can see it's a lot smoother than the other method that we showed. So uh, now we've got these two two boxes next to each other that we can adjust the the positions of. So let's just update our script a little bit. So we want to pull this over here. Let's change this to box two. Uh, and then let's group all of that together as well. So group. So we've now got to two boxes but we want to sort of look at how we can uh, do a boolean difference between them so uh, we've got these two so you can see when I click on it it highlights it green uh, two boxes and if I hold down shift I can select both of them uh, two uh, boxes that we've created so now um, we want to do uh, an intersection between them. So come up to the top, there's an intersect. Uh, and then there's a few uh, things in here. So we wanted to, to do a solid difference is the term that um, Grasshopper uses. Uh, 
but a, a sort of bigger concept of that is a Boolean difference. So we can take, uh, what's that? That's box one and box two. So I'm going to actually uh, just change the sizes of these around because I want a little bit different. So let's let's make this one a bit bigger and taller and then move this one and we can move this in different ways you can see but we're also sort of stopping at zero zero and I want to move this uh, beyond zero so we can uh, right click on here no not there double click no, double click on the end point there uh, and then so we can change the minimum and maximum so we can set that to a minus and then we can set that to minus 10 as well so now hopefully that worked did that work don't think so let's just double click on here again so set that to minus uh, and make this we'll just do minus 5 I don't think I select OK and then that's five minus. So I just needed to make it the number first, and so then minus five, uh, and check that. So now you can see we can actually go to minus uh, either side of that. So I can. Uh, so I'm going to do something similar on this one. So double click on that part of the um, component, and then I'm going to make this. We'll make this five as well. Uh, check OK and then just set that to minus so now we're we're going between the two so you can see that we can move that in different ways so I want to move that to there like that uh, and then we can sort of change the size of that box a bit if we want and then move some of these parts um, so that that gives us um, you can see that this is probably a bit high so let's just bring that down or maybe not maybe we want it a bit higher um, and maybe we want this box to be a bit higher so let's we can um, copy this so click on it begin to drag and hold down option on the Mac or control on the PC uh, and then we can feed that into the X um, so that now we've got that box dropping down so you can see it we have a sort of different amount of control over it so we've got the two going on there right so let's um, come back to this uh, solid difference so if we feed the first one into that and the second one into that now we've actually got three boxes. So we've got the first one that we did, the second one, and then the sort of solution. So we can actually turn some of these things off. Uh, so um, if we right click on that, we can turn it off by clicking on the preview. Uh, same with the plane, so we can turn that off. Uh, let's just do that here and here. So now we've just left with the result. This geometry behind it is one that we um, baked out before, so that's within geomet within Rhino. So we can't use that, uh, can't control that easily from within Grasshopper. So at this stage, I'm just going to delete that. Oh, oh no, actually, let's keep that. I'm just going to move it out a bit further out of the way. Um, and then if we highlight this one, we can see the result that we've got. So we can then uh, right click on this it's really important to remember the different parts of the component so I'm right clicking in the middle and then I can click bake there uh, I'm going to put it on a different layer let's go layer 2 uh, and I'm going to group it as well um, just it's good practice to get into that uh, sort of idea so you can see it's a different color because it's on a different layer but that now we've got uh, that one sort of lined out I can come back and turn these on and sort of explore now uh, a different sort of sh size so actually let's sort of move this around a bit 
uh, and see what else we can create um, with what we're doing. So then I can come and right click on that and bake. Uh, I'm not going to group this one uh, and I'm going to put this on layer 3. Um, so we can come into here. Is that what we wanted? I think so. Did I not do the right piece? I think I did something wrong there. Let's just go back and double check what we're trying to achieve. This one. That should be right. I don't know what's going on there. Let's just delete that. Where are we? There. So I think I right clicked on the wrong pit. So right click and then bake. And then let's put it on layer 3. And then so now we can move that out as well. Oh, let's just zoom out a bit and then pull that out. If you're not seeing that gumball, um, there is the toggle to turn that on. So if I click on that, gumball on off. So that gives you um, a, a, a rough workflow to, to now sort of do some simple Boolean operations uh, on our box. So we've got two boxes um, that we're, we're controlling with uh, Grasshopper and then we've got a result at the end. The tutorial I'm going to sort of add in a rotation component so we can then start to rotate them as well. Okay, see ya.